Good morning, all you beautiful bastards of bad bitches and green. Hey, babies! Uh, this is your captain. Sunning back into our lovely little space in this corner of the internet that we get to chat in. <coughs> Nothing too terribly new. Man, I am really clogged up in my throat right now. <coughs> oh, man. Yeah, well. Yeah, not any new updates to talk about. My family's home from their all of their interesting trips and all that. They all had wonderful, fantastic times, which I'm very happy about for them. Um, you know, some of them went to go see the world, and some of them went to go see other parts of the U.S. And, you know, hey, I'm just stuck here seeing the same old sight every day, which I'm kind of getting tired of. Which brings me, I'm gonna take my headphones off of myself, because I'm making this feel more important than official, but no, no need, no need, I'm not playing the game right yet. Um, brings me to a important update that I would like to share with you guys. Lord knows it's, who knows how long it's going to be, and what or if I'm going to be able to record and start posting again, but I am going to be taking a sort of, I don't want to call it vacation, it's going to be vacation at first. I'm going to chill out, hang out, go see one of my buddies, um, and then go see some other family. But as of the 13th of July 2024, I will be flying out of my home state. Now I have a desktop. And for those of you that know, desktops don't move that easily. I don't have a laptop. Which is why I need to invest in one so I can at least continue to make some kind of content eventually. But for right now, neither here nor there. I'm willing to set it all aside because I've been, well, for lack of better terms, the unemployed uncle for a good long while now, and it's its not that it's been hitting me, I knew it the entire time, but it's sort of hitting harder, and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is fun, this is enjoyable and all, but look at, look, look at how it's kind of affecting my family and my outlook on the world, so it's like, maybe it's time to nut up or shut up, and it's time to do what I do, and move on as an adult. Um, which is the goal, ultimately, which kind of sucks because I've got so much going on up here that, that, that I really like, and I'll be able to come back to it. And hopefully this leads to greater things and more progress in all areas of my life. So I just wanted to let you guys all know that, that the content will unfortunately run dry. There will be no more of your dreamer signing on the space to chat with. But I will return. This is only a temporary thing. Now, it could be a year. I really hope it's not more than a year, but it could be more than a year. But I will I will return. Um, I will possibly most likely post on um, TikTok, though I don't like TikTok as much as I do uh, most. Well, well, it's about the only other platform that I use, so I, I don't like TikTok nearly as much as I like YouTube, but it is what it is. So. Besides that little update, um, there was this this thought that I was having before I fell asleep last night, and I, and I have a bunch of those, obviously, that everyone does, but there was this person I was talking to um, last year, though it's not like it was last year, last year was, we stopped talking pretty recently. Not really stop talking, it's more so that I'm distancing myself to get more control over my emotions and to not overload them with them, and it felt like we were kind of drifting apart, so I was like, hey, I might as well just kind of move on with my life. We, we might as well just move on with our life. But one of the other things is, is and I don't really want to go into too many details or anything, but, you know, I started to feel feelings for them, which, it's not that it was wrong, per se, but it was never going to happen, um, no matter how much I would hope and wish that could have, I mean, maybe, if we were both, I mean, I don't know, it was convoluted, but, essentially, I ended up telling them that, 
One of the biggest things that I've searched for in life, and I kind of still do, but I'm really, at this point, trying to put it on the back burner, is I search for love. Like, that's one of the... I, I dislike this because I know everybody... Well, not everybody, but because even I dislike these kinds of people sometimes, and I'm one of them. But... I like to promote peace, love, happiness. You know, we, we already live in a shit world where we can practically be bombed out of our lives by our governments for no reason. So it's like, why not celebrate those things and enjoy those things and search for those things and have those things in your life? But I guess it's because I'm looking for the truest kind, you know, the till death do us part kind. But again, maybe it was wrong of me to think of that with them. I, I, I feel like it personally was. I mean, it's not like... It's not like I was look proposing to them straight out the gate. No, I was like, hey, you know, if things happen, things happen. If they don't, they don't. You know, if the day, it is what it is. And, you know, I, I believe we're still friends. We haven't messaged each other recently. They're busy with their thing. I'm busy sorting myself out. Um, and at the end of the day, that's... The, the thought I was thinking was, I'm tired of chasing and searching for love. At this point... I want love to find me. It's it's terrible because it's not terrible, but it's like I really it's all I want. It's all I really truly I don't want to say need, but you know, it's to me it's I don't know, maybe it's just too powerful of an emotion for me. Who 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 knows? But yeah, I was I was just saying there, I was like, you know I'm doing all these things on like YouTube and business things outside of YouTube and you know just finding myself and doing things and you know all that I'm just like why not let love do the same you know I'll attract the people I attract and if one of us clicks one of us clicks so I don't know weird little tangent but it was just something I was thinking about last night I think you guys can hear my dog barking in the background because she's upset she's in the kennel, but she refuses to go to the potty, so... Not much else we can do with her. Um, potty outside, I should say. I'm tired of going potty inside. But outside of that, man, I had another thought this morning. I had another thought this morning that I can't remember right now. I was eating, I was eating my Pop-Tart and drinking my glass of milk. Thing, man. Well, I guess I should probably just go ahead and say that, I mean, and again, this is me recording this before I play the game, so. But, one of my friends in a Discord server brought up Subnautica. So, today we're playing Subnautica. I don't know if this will become a, I mean, and again, I, I, I doubt it because I'm going to be leaving here soon, in the next few days. But, Enjoy the Subnautica gameplay, I, I, I hope, and all that. Um, I don't know if I'll cheat. Maybe I will just to have fun. I don't know. Probably not. Who knows? We'll see. Um, but. Yeah. But. Um, man, I, I I really need to start writing these topic ideas down or something. Because I'm always like, oh, I remember it. And then my brain's like. <laughs> um. But yeah, uh, if the content starts to slow down, I'm so I mean it's going to. I'm you know, I'm sorry, but go ahead and follow me on TikTok. Um, that'd, that'd be nice. Yeah, I'm trying to grow over there too. These are like the literal only two socials I use, other than one other social that I use for other uh, personal reasons. <coughs> um, apparently, the first Cybertruck tr crash happened. Um, that was, that's pretty interesting. Cybertruck was largely undamaged, um, but the person that sustained the most serious injuries was in the Cybertruck? I don't know. And then the other car was just, like, completely totaled. Which, I mean, truck v. car. Yeah. Yeah. Um. God, man. I really thought I had these topics, man. I really need to just write them down. So I guess I'll pull up my phone, scroll through some Google news cards, see if Google has anything interesting for. Um, what? Thailand's new government to ban cannabis for recreational use. 
which is pretty sad if you ask me. What, what they, why? Uh, I mean, I guess you're trying to get rid of smoking. Uh, nah. I mean, driving the 2023 Porsche 911 GT3 Cup and GT3R, two race cars are more fun than one. Eh. Missing part of Alaska Airlines jet is found in Oregon. Wow. Doesn't look like there's much of an impact. You would think there would be some kind of... I mean, maybe the door's covering it up. I mean, it seems like it landed with a curvature, you know, like... If you put your hand in a cup over your desk, that's how it landed. So maybe that wouldn't cause that much of a impact crater because of the spread of the impact. Oxygen level on exoplanets reveal presence of alien technology. No fucking way. Earth.com, you gotta be lying. American company spacecraft malfunctions on its way to the moon. Well, now we're gonna have a rogue rocket missile. James Gunn, Peacemaker Season 2's place in the new DCU won't be com confusing. I am not interested in Peacemaker at all, like, honestly. I'm sorry, Mr. You-Can't-See-Me, John Cena. You... There's something weird, like, The Rock. Even The Rock has done it for me. I mean, even big old DT man himself. Starting out as a wrestling person and trying to convert that over to anything else for me just feels so weird. It never ends up being good in my eyes. I mean, maybe I've watched some movies of other professional wrestlers and just not known and it was actually good, but at least so far, those are the three big ones that I can name off the top of my head where it's just like, Bleh. Astronomers watch another giant star dim. That's pretty interesting. Oh yeah, that, that's something else. Is that It's not really, uh, well, I'm not gonna go into specifics with it, but got a camera, a pretty nice camera. And I've been taking some mad pictures with it, and, uh, well, there's probably going to be some content that I work on later on using it, and it's going to be really cool and nice, and, whoa. Um, whoopsies. The most precise measure of dark energy confirms the universe won't tear apart. Yeah, I don't know about that. Just because you have one thing proving against everything else that is not going to tear apart doesn't mean it's not going to tear apart. Things can change. An antique dress held a secret. A coded message from 1888. That's pretty sick. Um. Oh no! Stop, Google! Why do you do this? Why do you automatically re refresh every time that I just even leave the app? College applications rose in states that legalized recreational marijuana. Hey, it's almost like de-stressing yourself is pretty fucking helpful to everything. Oh well, maybe I'm just biased. I am biased. Like, I won't lie. At the end of the day, cannabis smells... To me, I kind of enjoy it simply because I know what it means. But if I never knew what it meant, then I would know, then I would agree that it, it smells terrible. I mean, I'll even agree now, it does smell terrible, but I've gotten so into it that I've learned to enjoy it and and like it. I guess kind of like Stockholm Syndrome myself almost, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's a relaxing substance. It's no different than drinking, except you're inhaling it and breathing it, which people, again, I guess smoking things is wrong, but then there's things like the cartridges, which don't really involve actual smoke. It's more like a vapor. I don't know. It's just fucking sad how everybody is all Shut up! Shut up! Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, an update from Josh Hutcherson. Nice. iPhone survives 16,000 foot drop after Alaska Airlines 1282 panel blows out mid-flight. What? What? It doesn't look like there's a crack, but it's only showing, like, the top half, so... The fact that it survived is pretty interesting, unless it's just a total accident, whatever. Hawaii's AG's legal cannabis report? I'm sorry, everything in my Google card feed is just cannabis-related, but at the end of the day, like... <laughs> God, the square bicycle wheel is so weird. Interesting, but so weird. Oh, how sad. 
We have gotten, like, very little in the way of snow. Like, at least the snow was staying power, and it's made me kind of sad in all actuality. It's like... I want snow with staying power. I don't generally like driving in snow, and I generally don't like snow, but considering I'm stuck inside a lot of the time, I'm just like, hey, I can go to look outside and see the, see the snow, but now I see spiky snow, which is basically just grass poking through the snow, which I'm like, really? How? Why? Ugh. I really wish I could remember what topics it was that I was thinking of it. When I was eating breakfast. Man. Anyways, I am very excited for this new opportunity that has been presented in front of me. Because I'll I'll pose you guys this scenario here. There's there's a job that is here in where I'm living currently that is hiring. And I could go there and I could most likely get a job. But I've worked there before and I've worked and I've realized that I completely and utterly hate it and it's not worthwhile to me at all. Even with its relatively decent pay. It's not going to make me happy. It's not going to make me fulfilled. It, 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 it's going to suck a lot of my time away. When I was working there, I wasn't able to... Not that I wasn't able to, but I, I, I felt no motivation to make videos. Because it was so draining. Both mentally, physically, emotionally, and... Well, really, yeah, I think mentally, physical, emotion. Oh, and spiritually. Not really, but, you know, whatever. Might as well just throw it in there because it fucking sucked. But... Yeah, I'm hoping this change of scenery and maybe finding an interesting area to work, possibly with where I'm going and being near, basically experiencing things. I, I have enjoyed doing this. I have enjoyed meeting people online and all that and making friends. I'm not getting as much like comments or likes. I am definitely getting views, which is super weird. At least on my songs, which are shorter style content, which I've talked about before. I would prefer if people watch this longer stuff because it gives me more of that view time. It gets me closer to that goal of being able to, not that I entirely want to, but be able to monetize this. Because at least I'll enjoy this. And I'll be able to make the kind of content that I like. And be able to share my point of view in the world without being, like, <laughs> afraid of, you know. Well, being, not that you can't, but... It's less likely somebody's going to just come out of nowhere, you know, versus if you make yourself like a public figure, you know, you can be processed and everything like that. I I don't generally get associated with all that, or at least not the red sticky tape kind, but, you know, kind of like the isn't real and Malestine. I, I tend to think, and, you know, at the end of the day, it's probably wrong, but I tend to think I'm more on the right side because it's... At the end of the day, I feel like whatever's more morally right is correct. Which, I mean, honestly, is is that a wrong opinion? It's like, a dude murdered a person, but he's saved 50,000 people. Well, uh, I'm sorry, buddy. You still murdered a person, and let's just say it was in cold blood. You still murdered a person in cold blood. Like, y you gotta go. Yes, you're a decent person. Maybe that can kind of reduce your sentence. You know... Going down that crazy rabbit hole of, is this man going to turn into a crazy psychopath or is he going to correct his ways? It's all so complicated and terrible and the world's so tough when it shouldn't be. We're all people, we're just trying to live and survive and enjoy things. But there are a few outliers, which is, I suppose, understandable-ish. Where people are just actually mentally insane. <laughs> It's, it's super weird how that happens. It's like, how can you not make the choice to not do that? But the brain is quite the confusing thing at the end of the day. I wonder how well we know the human brain. I mean, it's not like we can just sit here and completely analyze it for what it is. It's kind of like, you are your brain, and your brain is you, but neither of you really kind of agree to that, you know? I really was stuck there thinking about that one day. I was like, I am my brain, but... My brain made me, so... Am I just a projection of my brain and my brain is completely different? <laughs> than... Who I think I am? <laughs> I don't know. Super crazy, but... Uh, I think that's where I'm going to end today's episode. Um, sorry to leave it on such a weird little tangent, but... This is your Captain Dreamer signing off of this lovely little space we get to chat in and call our own. 
And I hope all you dreamy alien babies, beautiful bastards, and bad bitches out there are having a... I think it's Wednesday, right? No, it's Tuesday. A terrific Tuesday. And a nice new year. Go out there and make it the best, and I will see you all later, alligators.